my my big question is that during your process of doing these exams was there a point when you just said okay that's it i can't do it this is too much uh then you just have to like jump on the saddle of just doing work probably doing other things what was your motive or what was that triggering uh point when you said no never mind i have to jump back on the saddle i have to finish this what was that point what was it that's such a great question danny because i felt that after my very first exam just my first because i took practice management first and i failed and after that one i literally was like i'm not i'm over it i'm not doing this again and a couple things helped me with that the first one is i kept thinking okay 10 years out where do i want to be in 10 years and i knew that that's where i wanted to be and so i knew that the longer i pushed that off the harder it was going to be the harder it was going to be to get back in it and i knew okay where will because that 10 years is going to come no matter what right in 10 years 10 years will have passed and so if I give up and I decide I'm too busy, I had a baby at the time. I took my first exam when she was 10 months old. It was really easy to make excuses of why I shouldn't be doing it right now and I should be pushing it off. But I kept thinking, okay, in 10 years, I'm still going to be wanting this and it's gonna just get harder because there's gonna be maybe another baby in, that comes down, which there was work's just going to get busier it's it's there's always going to be life events and so that is what kept pushing me and would get me back taking it again because i said all right i'm just over it all right i'll go take it again and then so that's what kind of got me back motivated but even with that knowledge i still had every time i'd fail I it would still take me like at least three or four months in order to just get back even in it again. The final thing that got me to take an exam a month or an exam every six weeks was finally those two words of who cares, because that was finally when I kind of released it and was like, I don't even care what the outcome is. I don't care if I fail it. Who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter. I'm just getting in there and doing it. And also because I figured if I could take, even if I failed, if I could take an exam every six weeks or, you know, eight weeks, again, that's my timeline. I'm not saying that necessarily is yours, but if I could take one every six weeks, even if I fail three, I'll still finish faster than if it takes me three months after each fail. And so it was this like internal fire that finally was just like, all right, who cares? I'm getting in and I'm doing it. And that's something like with Ivan's story is he crushed it and took four exams in one week. But now three years later, like imagine if he would have just taken one every two months and I'll have to, I have to buy Ivan a drink or something for letting, letting uh, me use his story. But you know, if he would have taken one exam every two months, he would have been done quicker. So it was honestly a shift in, in how I, how I perceived the whole situation that kept me consistent. 